Here we go, the 92nd and 93rd country, Croatia, I'm Bosnia and Herzegovina. So I went to Dubrovnik, Croatia from Montenegro by bus. Um, I just changed a local bus after riding Dubrovnik heading to my YHA. Dubrovnik is a very popular tourist city so even the hostel price is not too cheap there so I only stayed like one night there since I didn't find any host so the next day um, after arrived in Dubrovnik I checked out and stored my luggage in the hostel I went out for sightseeing um, to a cable, cable car to the mountain top of third mountain and get to see the whole view of Dubrovnik. Imagine a picture, blue sky, white clouds, clear sea water and the red rooftop of the houses. That was the image of, of the whole view in Dubrovnik from the top. And um, that was very lovely. I also went to the old town, filled a crowded of this popular tourist city. Then I went to Mostar in Herzegovina and Bosnia from Dubrovnik and that was an ancient town. There is an old bridge in the old town and the local people or all visitors, especially men, often like to challenge, jump from the bridge since the living cost in Mostar is much cheaper than my previous city, Dubrovnik. So I rested there a few days before heading to the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sarajevo. So when I was in Sarajevo, I was doing couch surfing. My host was a local. He offered me to sleep in um, his living room on the couch. My host was a uh, you know, very talent in playing music in fragments. For example, I can play any music, and, and he never heard it before, and um, he can just immediately play in piano. And, and the most important thing is uh, he never studied music, uh, but uh, all by self talk and during my visit there, my host was busy from work, so I went out sightseeing myself. So I walked to the Lion Cemetery, get to visit the grave of the Romeo and Julia from Sarajevo. I visited the old town. Um, I checked out the uh, Gazi Husserbeck Mosque and saw the local men were doing their prayer inside. I feel Sarajevo was like an old photo I saw in the local museum, which was a local lady um, in business attire, like business suit, but covered her face. That was exactly like Sarajevo, combined with uh, modern and um, traditional. I also get to meet some old travel mates who I earlier met in Georgia and I visited their uh, hostel for travel information. On the way back to my host place um, I saw there is a, a free music performance uh, uh, so I stayed there to enjoy the live, live music, get to feel like some cultural event of the local. After Sarajevo I went back to Croatia, came to the capital of Croatia, Zagreb. I was doing couch surfing there. My host was uh, my host lives uh, with uh, um, his family, and uh, they lived uh, somewhere near a cemetery. During my visit, his parents were not home. That's why he was able to host me because he was only staying with his younger sister at home at that time. Um, since uh, his parents uh, would not agree to host people. So I stayed in my host's room where he shared with his elder brother. He offered me his bed and himself took his brother's bed. 
My host was a youngster guy and told me he encountered sexual harassment、uh, when he was doing couchsurfing in Italy with a man host. He told me to be alert、uh, if I'm going to Italy and especially if I'm going to do couchsurfing as well. So that made me feel even if you are a male traveler, there is no guarantee for safety. And I cooked Chinese food for my house, and、um, they really enjoyed it. And since we didn't see each other that often, because during my visit he was busy from work, so I started seeing alone during the day. I went to the center, St. Michael's Church, which got a lovely, colorful rooftop. And also, I visited the world's only museum of broken heart. There is a Chinese explanation, and during visiting the museum, and、uh, they were stories about different relationships, not about not only between lovers, but.、Uh, Between parents and、um, and 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 children, and different parts. <coughs> Excuse me. On the last day,、um, in Zagreb,、um, I haven't got much local currency left, but、uh, I still got a new train ticket, and I've never used. So I went. I wanted to exchange my train ticket into cash, and together with the not much cash I left, I wanted to buy food before heading to my train trip. So I was asking around in the train station, and it didn't work. And finally, a lady passed by, and I asked her the same thing. And I was being very friendly, and then she finally noticed、uh, my needs and asked me how much cost for my sandwich because I wanted to buy a sandwich, and gave me the amount to me without taking my train ticket, and just disappear in the people. So she just wanted to help me, and that was the last impression about Croatia. Such was a. A lovely, kind-hearted lady. And after getting my sandwich, I boarded on the train headed to Slovenia. So thank you very much for listening. The next coming country that will be Slovenia and、uh, Liechtenstein. Thank you once again. We'll catch you up with the next episode. Bye for now.